welcome to another episode of Divine Downloads, the show where you get both the spiritual and strategic tools you need to create a life that lights you up. I'm your host, Cassandra Bodzak, and your spiritual mentor, and today I'm super excited to talk about all of the energy that's going on right now. We're going to dive into this Aquarius full moon that's approaching on the 3rd, as well as the fact that we still have Mars in Aries, which is definitely a background to everything that's going on right now. And of course, we're going to dive into the Lionsgate portal, which is coming. It's going to, it's already started. We're already feeling some of the Lionsgate energy come in, which is why I wanted to combine it. But it's going to really hit its peak on the 8th of August. So First things first, let's just dive on in. First, let's start with Mars and Aries because Mars and Aries is really, it's almost like the background. It's, you know, the full moon and the lion's gate are like events that are happening and almost Mars and Aries, you can think about it as like the mood you're in while you're going to these events, right? So the mood that a lot of us are in with Mars and Aries is a feistier warrior energy. And so it can both be, it can be the energy of, you know, the fighter, it could be the energy of the hero, right? But it is a, it's a strong energy, right? And like I said, Mars and Aries, um, you know, are, uh, Aries is in its home, home planet with Mars, right? And so it's really going to have us all feeling a lot of fire. And that's something that I, I want to point out before we talk about these um, these other events that are happening because it's, it is intense. It's something that you are going to feel, you know. And I feel like, you know, sometimes when that happens for the first time, then we're like, oh, Mars is going into Aries, then we forget about it. Mars is still in Aries, and it is still affecting you. So if you notice you've been maybe quick-tempered, if you know that you've been quicker to anger recently, that is, that's some side effects. So you might, as you're navigating, especially as you're navigating this full moon, really want to check in with yourself and put, you know, again, put it in its place for every, every kind of conjunction, every every moon, everything that happens, there's always kind of how you can use it for good and how it could go awry. And so Mars and Aries, you can use it for good when you're really fighting for what you believe in, right? You can use Mars and Aries for, for standing in your personal power, right? For really being an advocate for what you believe to be true. And then again, Mars and Aries can also be very combative. It could be you starting fights with people that you love over things that are maybe not not helpful, right? So knowing that that's kind of in flux. Mars and Aries also gives you a lot of kind of get up and go, right? Which is something that I really encourage you to utilize. It is a more motivated energy. It's a pressing forward energy. It's a let's get stuff done now energy. So utilize that. That's one of the best aspects of it that you can really step into. And then when there's Aquarius full moon, Aquarius is like, it's the rebel. It's the revolutionary. It's it's really owning your individuality, your uniqueness. And then the, the full moon is, you know, full moons can be releasing. Um, but for me, and I always tell you kind of what my vibe is on, on it when I tap into it, this one feels more of like a culmination, like a completion. Like, Perhaps for the past six months, there's been an aspect of your personality, uh, aspect of who you are, or how you're showing up in the world, that you have been struggling to be 110% about, that you've been struggling to be unapologetic about this, this unique part of you. And I really believe this full moon is like the pinnacle. It's coming in here to say, okay, the last six months have really shown you who you are and some of your eccentricities and some of your uniqueness. Now, are you ready? Are you ready to use this Mars and Aries energy, use this Leo energy too that's coming with the Lionsgate, this courageous energy, and are you really able to step to the forefront and say, hey, I, I am unique, or hey, I really love this kind of out there thing, or actually, I'm going to honor what my beliefs about this are. And it's not in 
Aquarius energy is not in like necessarily the way of saying like my beliefs are right and your beliefs are wrong. It's just saying no, like this is who I am and I'm cool with it. And if you're not cool with it, then that's okay too. You can just move along, right? And so, but of course, like I said, we have that Mars and Aries kind of in the background. So there could be a little bit of like rebel without a cause energy or rebel warrior being like, this is what I believe is right. And even if it's not popular, I'm going to go to fight for it. And I want to encourage you if something like that comes up, where you're honoring your individual views, you're honoring your uniqueness, or maybe a revolutionary standpoint that you have, to just ask yourself if you're honoring it as the kind of, let's say, like the more powerful heroine hero figure, or if you're or if you've let it kind of go into more of like a war battle zone area, right? Because both of them have similar energy. One is kind of using it, using that power, using that that fire for positive change, for alchemizing something. And one is what I would call out of the temple. <laughs> when it's out of the temple, it's kind of run amok. So your your what will happen is your good message or your good ideas will get convoluted if there's more of that war fight energy, right? Whereas if you're standing respectfully and courageously in your personal power around something, you can stand powerfully and say, I have this idea, or I believe in X, Y, and Z, without having to feel like you have to fight any every single person that has a different belief than you, right? We have the Lionsgate portal. So how does that, because I think all of this energy is kind of interplaying together, which is why I didn't want to record separate podcasts for them all, because I don't think you can separate them, because we're all experiencing all of it coming at us at once. And the Lionsgate portal actually dates back to, you know, a practice in ancient Egypt because the star Sirius, which is actually two times the size of the sun and 26 times brighter, and is symbolic of spiritual light and abundance and fertility, aligns with the earth. And what happens is Orion's belt falls directly beneath the pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. And so this has been considered on the 8th, day of the eighth month where this this alignment happens a very very powerful spiritual day and really the days around it too as 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 it's moving up in the sky and, and coming off so like with every moon right i always tell you of like three or four days on either side of the moon and same thing with the lion's gate you're going to feel it all the way into the 12th and you're already starting to feel it as we make our way into this full moon and it just hits most potently on the eighth and so we're getting all of this spiritual light activation, DNA codes, upgrades. We're really getting this full on shower of cosmic light codes coming in that are activating our consciousness in a whole new way. I really look at the Lion's Gate each year as our cosmic upgrade, as us kind of like going into the cosmic shop, having them kind of retool certain things that need to be, you know, tightened or shifted or upgraded or putting new, if you think about it when you like upgrade your computer, it's kind of like our computers are getting upgraded. And so if you think about, you have this massive energetic upgrade going on amidst this Mars and Aries, amidst this full moon in Aquarius. To me, what it feels like is this lion's gate is really going to help you come into the truth of who you are, get to know yourself as a divine being. And through those upgrades, through those light codes coming in, you're going to get into a different place with yourself about how comfortable you are with who you are. Because we are all divine beings with our own blueprints for how our soul wanted to express during this lifetime. And all of us have our unique missions and purposes and the different things that we're meant to do. And all of us also have a different set of personality traits and talents and, and different things that we're inclined to, how we speak, how we move, our personality, how outgoing we are or not outgoing. We have all these like this 
beautiful hodgepodge that comes together to uniquely work for us. And it's interesting because I lead in A Course in Miracles Mastermind. And one of the lessons that the ladies were talking about that we went through this past week was, I am as God created me. And so if you think about that, I am as God created me, or I am as the divine created me, or a source, or universe, whoever, right? Then if we fully try that on, if we put that on, right? We start accepting that all of our little eccentricities, all of our little quirks, all of the our preferences are divine, are not accidental. And this lion's gate is really going to, if you allow yourself to open up and receive the light activation that's available for you, and I'm going to do a special workshop and meditation for you to really receive that DNA upgrade, for you to really receive those light codes, for you to really allow the space. Because the thing is, we live on a free will planet. You can receive it or you can decline it. <laughs> you can allow yourself to, um, you'll feel it moving through you. But we truly decide how much of it we can hold, right? Because what happens is, all of these beautiful light energy, all this spiritual awakening, ascension energy comes through. But if we're closed off to receiving it, it bounces right off of us, right? If if we're not ready to, to enable the energetic powers or the personal power that comes align with what we're receiving, we're also going to block it off as well. So I would say right now is a time for you to really be honoring in the past six months, what have you learned about yourself? What feels like you're finally, if not completely there, like almost at the finish line for being like, you know what? I I really do love this and I'm gonna be unapologetic about this, right? It's really interesting. Um, I have a stepdaughter and what I've noticed about her, I love watching her around <laughs> the moon energy because kids are great. If you have any kids in your life, <laughs> they're, great to watch around this energy because they don't even you know they don't even know how to deflect it yet they're just so in alignment with a lot of this and so recently literally just in the past couple weeks she started getting crazy picky about what she wears never before she would literally dress in like whatever color wouldn't care if it matched wouldn't care if she wore it three days in a row like wouldn't care at all as long as it was like pink or sparkly or had unicorns or rainbows or something she was down so all of a sudden, a couple weeks ago, she started telling us that she didn't like a lot of her clothes anymore. <laughs> She's like, oh, actually, I like plain colors. I don't want the rainbows anymore. Or I like this. Or that looks childish, right? And it's just like, in the span of a couple weeks, all of a sudden... It's like her, pre her preferences have not only emerged, but she's so much feistier about it. And she's so much stronger in, I don't want to wear this if it doesn't look, if it's not like my style, right? That's just a perfect example of what all of us are going through right now. You're starting to get more clear than ever on your preferences. And you have this Mars and Aries energy and this full moon in Aquarius energy that's telling you it's okay to demand them. It's okay to stand strong in them. It's okay to hold on to our personal power, right? And of course, this Lion's Gate, Leo, Leo energy of having the courage. I think this is a really beautiful week we have ahead of us of you really being able to be courageously who you are, right? And honor what are the things that have kind of shifted and moved in the past few months, right, that have helped us get closer to this, that have helped us learn our preferences, right? And so maybe hers had to do with her clothing, but maybe yours has to do with your lifestyle. Maybe yours has to do with what job you want to do. Maybe yours has to do with your partnership. We're evolving very, very, very fast right now. And we're coming with this Aquarius energy, as well as with the acti activation that's coming with the Lion's Gate. We're claiming the truth of our unique expression on this world. What is our unique expression? What did our soul come here to be, do, have, explore? And can we stop trying to conform? Aquarius is like, 
will be releasing any of the ways. <laughs> what you're releasing with this full moon will literally be any of the ways that you tried to put yourself in a box that's not you. Any of the ways you tried to make yourself more palatable for something or someone, right? Any of the ways that maybe you suppressed your own very unique tendencies. So if everyone else is saying, well, when you're at a certain age, you got to get married and have kids, and maybe you went along with that track, and and now you're really thinking, well, is that me? Maybe that's not me. Maybe that was just cultural programming. Maybe actually I'm okay with being single. Maybe that's actually more in alignment with my lifestyle. There are so many things like that in our world, right? Where it's like, oh, this is what everyone's supposed to do. You know, you graduate college, you're supposed to get a job, da, 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 or whatever. You know, or if you're a certain age, you're supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that, right? And so Aquarius just helps us really release all of that stuff and say, you know what? I wasn't meant to fit in. I wasn't meant to do things the way everyone else is doing. I was meant to be a rebel. I was meant to be a revolutionary. I was meant to march the beat of my own drum. And I get to give myself permission to do that. And then once again, we have that with that beautiful, supportive Mars and Aries energy that says, oh yeah, stand in that personal power. Oh yeah, don't wait till tomorrow. Claim this today. Get into action on it. Start moving forward with it. And then we have this beautiful Lionsgate portal that's really just a surge of light that's coming in to further activate our ascension, to further activate the light that's within our beings. And what that does when we get that, what is it, you know, that DNA upgrade or the activation of the light codes, what does that do? Well, it allows us to get out of the denseness of our human, the heaviness of our human, which is the part of us that dims our light, which is the part of us that plays it small or tries to keep ourselves in the box. And it gives us a light, peaceful energy to really step powerfully forward as the truth of who we are. So utilize this energy that we have coming up between um, August 3rd, August 8th, and you know, up until really August 12th or so, this beautiful, beautiful energy for you to receive the gifts um, that are coming to you cosmically, for you to really open up yourself to this activation and to show up for it. Simply showing up for it is huge. Meditation during this time, journaling during this time, being out in nature during this time, places where you can create the space in your life to receive the downloads that are coming in. When we're in these portals, we receive so many downloads. And I think one of the Biggest mistakes you can do is, you know, over busy yourself so that you don't create the space to hear anything, right? So allow yourself to hear what's coming through for you. Allow yourself to see what wants to emerge during this, right? Um, and step into it. Like I said, lean on that little bit more of that, um, you know, that courageous Leo energy or that, you know, that feisty Aries and Mars energy to help you really stand up and get comfortable. And what you're going to find is that in the ongoing months right now, it might seem super courageous. It might seem scary or bold, right? To really be owning whatever this thing is about yourself or owning this uniqueness about yourself and how you express yourself. And what once you're going to do it in the next, by September, honestly, October, this is just going to be the new normal for you, is honoring this truth. And the more we honor our truest expression here, the more we're divinely supported. So and how we honor our expression in any area of our life supports us in all areas of our life, right? So the moment we claim who we are, the moment we honor that everything about us is divine, that nothing is an accident, right? The more we can, we receive that flow of abundance or fertility, right? And what is fertility? Not just babies. Fertility is also birthing projects. It's creativity, right? Um, it is abundance, right? Whether that's money or or love or friendships, right? Same thing. We'll have fertility and abundance in friendships as well once we claim our uniqueness, once we stand in the truth of who we are. So that's really what's coming through for you this week. Get excited. I think a lot of people are going to end up feeling a lot more free on the other end of it. That's always, even when it's scary, even when 
you're terrified that people are going to reject you or what are they going to say, the feeling of freedom and relief on the other side of owning your truth is, is always, always, always worth it. And especially in this activation portal, it's really going to rocket launch you um, and bring you so much clarity and direction. So claim it, claim it, claim it. Um, and if you want to go further, like I said, feel free to check out my corresponding workshop with uh, meditation um, to fully activate this energy and to create the space for yourself, more importantly, to receive those downloads and really reflect on what this means for you. So have a great, great full moon in Aquarius and Lionsgate. And as always, if you enjoy this podcast, please subscribe, leave us a five-star review, and feel free to share us any, any insights you had, any ahas you had. Share it with your friends who, you know, you would love to listen to this stuff. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the flip side.